Welcome to Solign TV's Unboxing Famica 14. I am Wim de Kort, and in this video I'll talk about the new Get Application Architecture function. With this function, you can easily find out if your Famica Pro is running on a 32-bit or 64-bit machine. And this is something that is new to Famica 14, and it's only relevant on Windows. Used to be that Famica Pro on Windows was only 32-bit. Now we have both a 32-bit and a 64-bit option. And why is this important? Well, if you are using plugins in your solutions, then you have to make sure that you install the correct version of that plugin. Plugins will now come in both 32 and 64 bit versions. Here is an example. I use the free Base Elements plugin in one of my solutions. And as you can see here, I have three versions of the plugin, one for Mac and two for Windows. What I want to make happen is that when the solution opens, a script will check if the plugin is installed, and if it is not installed, it will install the correct version. In order to make that work, I will use these get functions. The top one is brand new in 14, get application architecture, and the others have been around for a while. Most of these return a number, and since I can never remember what number goes with what machine or device, I created some custom functions to help myself out. So let's look at those first. For instance, if I want to know if my operating system is a Mac, then your get system platform would be one. I translate that in OS underscore Mac. If get system platform is a three, then it's running on iOS. So I translate all of these get functions and their corresponding numbers into a more readable version through a custom function. Now, if I go and look at the script that I have that will install plugins right here, you can see that the use of those custom functions make my code a whole lot more readable. So what happens? Obviously plugins can be installed through the install plugin file script step. So the first thing I do is I detect whether I'm running on the server and if my server is Windows. Remember that Famica server only runs on 64-bit hardware. So the first thing I do then is I install the 64-bit version of the plugin. If my device is not a server, if I'm running Famica Pro on a desktop and my operating system is Windows, then I need to figure out if this machine that is running Famica Pro is a 64-bit or a 32-bit. So I use the new get function translated here as a readable custom function to figure out whether this is the 64-bit version of Windows, then I install 64-bit plugin. If not, then I'll go ahead and install the 32-bit plugin. If we are running my solution on a Mac, then I can just go ahead and install the single Mac plugin. In summary then, the new get function easily tells you whether your solution runs on a 32-bit or 64-bit platform, and then you can branch your code accordingly. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Solion TV to view more videos from the unboxing Filemaker 14 series.